Hey everybody, my name is Peter Boyer and welcome to the 2016 um, English graduation exam, final exam, graduation exit exam, or we can call it simply BAC. And this is the writing part. You have two subjects as always. One uh, between 80 and 100 words and another one in 180 and 200 words. Good. Um, let me present the two subjects, the two topics for you. Number one will add up to uh, 40 points. You have recently got back from a holiday. Write an email to an English friend who wrote to you some time ago. Apologize for the delay in replying and tell him about your holiday. Good. What are here the points that you have to uh, remember? One. Again, it's an email. It's not a letter, not a formal letter, not an informal letter, not a novel, not a poem or a romantic story. It's an email. Uh, and as it is a, a, in, in reply, there has to be a to and a from. Yeah, to is Mr. Smith, whoever. From is you, like Balaska, Balaska, 1998. Okay? like something like that uh, and and the subject now the subject has to be something that that uh, resembles that you are sorry for the delay or and 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 it's it's uh, 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 an email that you send in reply to somebody so you can you can say hi back or see you too or uh, hello, hello again, uh, or uh, sorry for the delay. Uh, how will you address your friend? In a friendly term. Hi, hello, dear, this and that, comma, it's okay. You will, uh, you have to avoid uh, any formal way of greeting a friend, because a friend is a friend. Um, yeah. Um, hmm. 80 to 100 words, pay attention not to write less than 80 words, pay attention not to write more than 100, be simple, flexible. Uh, in the topic, you will say sorry that uh, you hadn't replied and you will also uh, emphasize why not. You have to explain it because friendships have to be well taken care of. So it shouldn't lead to a misunderstanding that you were out with your family or friends on a holiday and you couldn't reply to a good friend of yours. That's why you will tell your friend that hey Robert I'm sorry I couldn't reply to you but I was at uh, whatever beautiful wonderful uh, place uh, smelling roses and uh, picking flowers with my family right in the mountains or <laughs> whatever but you will actually emphasize and, and stress the fact that you couldn't reply because of real reasons that you were on a holiday um, right a apologize for this um, and uh, ask him about his well-being, what is he doing right now, how things are working for him, and so on and so forth. The I look forward to talking to you again, or I am looking forward to talk to you again, uh, or to read your answer uh, is, is always welcome. Um, pay attention to, so to say, leave the conversation open. So uh, you have to, after you apologize to your friend, you have to give him space to answer. Yes? Like, you apologize and then uh, you express your desire to continue the conversation. So you ask back, how is he? Was he working during uh, uh, the time you were 
partying with your family or uh, anything that continues the conversation. Next one, topic number two or subject number two is even more interesting, I love it. Uh, so you have had a class discussion on the importance of learning foreign languages. Really? Yeah. Your English, uh, your teacher uh, has given you this quotation. One language sets you in a corridor for life. Two languages open every door along the way. Frank Smith, yeah? Uh, so, again, one language sets you in a corridor for life. Two languages open every door along the way. So, Frank Smith and has, uh, just a moment, and has asked you to write an opinion essay expanding on the quote. Now, first thing to remember here, it is an essay, right? It's a composition. So, tw uh, as I said, 200 uh, words should add up to 20 normal sentences, right? It's not that difficult. Don't consider it difficult, please. Because writing 20 sentences, it's quite okay. Secondly, it's an opinion essay. As it is an opinion essay, it gives you the freedom to express your opinion. Yes, your opinion, because it sounded like your opinion, yeah, or something like that. Your opinion. Come on, it's a possibility for you to express yourself. Right? So, express yourself. And in this era, 2020, you listen to music on YouTube in English, you watch movies in English, you play games in English, you play online games and you talk to Russian and Polish and whatever Japanese uh, players who play online with you and you speak English. So, you are very fam familiar with the topic. So, as you are familiar with the topic, you can agree with what your teacher said from the quotation that one language is actually a corridor, right? Just a corridor, nothing more. Monolingualism, knowing only your, your mother tongue. If you only knew your mother tongue, you would not understand me right now, right? And the second st uh, sentence says, two languages open every door along the way. Everybody knows that if you speak more languages, more little words, words, not words, worlds open up, universes open up to you, yes? They open up for you, yes? You can talk to Brazilian people in English, you can talk to Japanese people in English. You can talk to people from Iceland, Greenland, Denmark, whatever, in English. So, uh, knowing it says two languages, I slightly disagree. Three or four is, is better than two, right? As a Hungarian, I speak Hungarian, of course I have to speak the official language of my country, which is Romania, so I speak Romanian. Yes, with my neighbors and colleagues and everybody else, right? And I speak English. And that's good. I speak a little bit of German. Uh, why not? Ein wenig. Nur ein wenig. Deutsch. Okay? Good. So, more languages give you more chances. In this, you will uh, enforce your opinion again and again and again and emphasize that yes, you agree that knowing more languages is better than knowing only one language. I would, <clears throat> I will not read uh, all the things that the teachers expect from you, but I would say that using the linkers and connectors rightly, it's a plus for you. Using grammatical structures and tenses properly will give you a bonus also. 
and using good uh, vocabulary, using English fluently, coherently, and in a sophisticated way, using nice, interesting words, always give you uh, good points for students. Blessings. Bye.